I think uh, I haven't felt prepared for any of this in some way in that it's a lot of change that's not been chosen. You know, normally when you make life-changing decisions, it's because you choose them. Well, not normally, but often. Um, so that is difficult, but you've chosen that path or you kind of expect the challenges that come with it and you're preparing yourself for that. In this situation, everything that's happened to me in the last few months hasn't been by choice. It's been it's been hard, but I've actually I've just been learning to cope with everything really. If I'm honest, you were learning to, to adapt to get through these things. All my work got cancelled. To be doing like a full UK tour, it all just got completely cancelled. I just wanted a break. Like I just needed a break, and when those projects I had did get cancelled, even though I was looking forward to them, in a way I was happy they were cancelled. It was just kind of a bit of a joke. I thought like it was like oh well can't be that bad can't be as bad as they thought that it was like there's no way that just everyone can get sick or dying and these kinds of things it all just seemed a bit we were like well if we're gonna get COVID it'll show up in a place like this you know there's still two three hundred of us in this one confined space I was having dreams every night that I was killing all the people I loved like I was killing all my friends and family because I had directly in my house someone who I knew was vulnerable I became so obsessed with cleaning I don't think I have the emotional capacity at the moment because of everything that's happening in my personal life to really understand what has happened in the sense of just feeling like everything I've built for the last 10 years has suddenly just fallen away and disappeared in front of my eyes typhoon of decisions and then it suddenly happened and at the beginning I was just very lost didn't know what to do and after a few days I realized move your ass and just start doing things. Started doing some club work which I haven't really done since um, I was in college really. I think lockdown has been a, a kind of a godsend in that way because because I've got so much free time it's allowed me to do things that I've, I've had to put on the back burner for so long. I've really found refugee music really at this time and um, I've been writing loads which has been lovely. I sort of went on did my Instagram live classes which was nice to keep teaching just not having my own space or anywhere I could, like I could escape to. I was like going to Queen's Park to take dance classes. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, there's only so much you can do on Instagram live. Back at home? Or do you want to have lots of sex? <laughs> so, <laughs> I chose the boyfriend. But then it was quite funny because he was working from, he was a, he's a musician. So he was at home. So there was a lot of, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you going to do today? What are you going to do today? And it was like, um, I have a whole list of things I could do today. <laughs> All of the people I know are creative and making things happen. And that's a real gift because we've all sort of been experiencing similar things. Enjoy my body again. And it allowed me to really like just dance and move in the way I wanted to move. Listen to music I wanted to listen to. Make choices I wanted to make. And it actually made me so much more inspired. Obviously my toes started hitting my bloody wardrobe <laughs> it's made me more grateful just for the little things in life like being outside being able to get a coffee and sit down and just watch the world go by the smaller things more prone to take for granted every day i actually made me like myself in some ways more historically that's what happens after times of great austerity there's a new period of art that is born everyone is appreciating art as i keep saying like they're watching movies and they're playing video games and they're listening to music and you wouldn't be doing any of that without creatives and artists. You can go anywhere in the mind, absolutely anywhere. I love setting goals and then it just gives, whether it gives me hope or, or faith or whatever, but like, you've got a dream. You have to. And I know I'm such a dreamer. Because artists are all def desperate for work. We all, we all have, haven't worked in you know god knows how long but then again it could have repercussions because the competition is going to be way higher now because everyone's available there's going to be a massive response to this we are the slaves of the industry we get paid the least we do the most work it's a it's the hardest on ourselves on our bodies we have the shortest careers like all those adverts were coming out about retraining it was just like so offensive i can't even believe that the uk of all places was saying that because it's like was it not winston Turner? who is like holy heaven god who said if it wasn't for art then what are we fighting for during world war ii the support of the government was very 
minimalistic. I would class the government as incompetent. I felt a bit betrayed. I personally feel like the art sector has been treated like it doesn't exist whatsoever. I would be lying if I said they hadn't acknowledged us or done something. We don't get the same support that other people get. Like we play no role in society. I have seen some of the most talented people I have come across in my career have to move home and have no jobs. They've done what they deemed satisfactory. That at the end of the day, the community of the artists have each other. There are a lot of artists who have slipped through the self-employed support scheme, like myself, who's deciding who gets the money from that. And it doesn't actually help artists in an immediate, direct way. It's just given to organisations. It was a reality check. It was very in my face that at the end of the day, the community of the artists have each other as one of the only aspects that is more consistent. I once, I recently heard a statistic about how many prime ministers had been to Eton. It was really shocking because it was basically one prime minister in the last like, I don't know how many years, forever that hasn't been there. And that's just such a limited experience. I bet none of the members of the Conservative Party have ever walked into Tesco's and put down the multi-pack of baked beans because it was too expensive. There hasn't been a single case of a Conservative government that really convinced me of success, of care, of intelligence, of really great actions. really wish that those in government had a deeper sense of humanity. For me, it just reflects tradition and I think tradition needs to be broken to improve. What I would want from a post-COVID world is a more community conscious and a more accessible kind of world. It's very hard to imagine beyond the now, but I think um, space and time to do what interests me. We need to find new ways. Like, I see so much shitty art. I'm like, don't waste time with this cheap entertainment shit. I, I want to see, like, things that are inspiring and contemporary dance pieces that are, like, about wearing a mask or shit. I'm, can, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> All my artist friends to be employed. Oh, I guess loads of hot dates with hot men with great cocks. <laughs> I would like all the jobs because I think I deserve all the monetary reparations. I would like to see more respect for the arts and for what we I do. Want that's what I mainly be want in general. An actual I want being able to help people. people. I would I like us to take more yeah. responsibility to for our actions that kind of on a personal level and towards each other. And just hope everyone learns something more valuable from this and becomes stronger. Kind of just take something more honestly and build. Okay, a better yeah, respect for the art. Just be more hygienic, bitches. No, I mean, it's just a lot, isn't it? Maybe that's my closing thought. It's just a lot. People to process. It makes me emotional. And everyone's dealing with a lot in different ways. So I guess it's just trying to find a way to move through that and help each other.